Walking is one of the most fundamental things we do as humans. But people who suffer from spinal cord injury, stroke, MS, traumatic brain injury, and other impairments often have to relearn how to walk as adults. Robots are increasingly being used in rehabilitation treatment, with the robot teaching the patient how to walk again by retraining their gait. Researchers from the Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital and the Wies Institute at Harvard University are exploring how people modify their gait patterns in response to interacting with these robots. In their experiments, a robotic system designed for treadmill-based gait retraining was used to apply forces that disrupted a subject's step length, step height, and both step length and height in combination. Surprisingly, the researchers found that subjects adapted their walking in response to changes in step length, but not step height. Even when both step length and step height were disrupted at the same time, the research team believes that this is because the body's central nervous system processes step length permutations as challenges to stability, which is one of the most critical requirements for successful walking. A perturbation that doesn't threaten stability, like one that increases the height of the foot above the ground, is not going to cause a patient to adapt to counter the forces generated by the robot. This important observation has implications for rehabilitation robotic use and how therapists design treatments for patients with motor impairment.